Welcome back, everybody. Today I'm here and we're to, doing a little thing on the Zooniverse.org. Zooniverse.org is a citizen science... Uh, right. We make citizen science websites so that everyone can be part of real research online. So there you go. That's the, that's the catch. Um, there's always awesome stuff on here. But we're actually going to co cover a, a couple of different things. So the first one is... Galaxy Zoo. So Galaxy Zoo, uh, you sign in and basically they show you a picture and they ask us to classify the picture. That's it. So it's a bit like hot or not astronomy. <laughs> Only, um, you know, I guess this short list. So all we've got to do is say, is the galaxy simply smooth and rounded with no signs of a disk? Yeah. Well, I don't know, mate. It looks like there's a disc there to me. It does look like a disc. What do you think? It's a discus. It is, isn't it? Disc. Could this be a disc viewed edge on? Yes. Does the galaxy have a bulge at its center? If so, what shape is it? Well, uh, it kind of looks like... Can't really tell. It looks like there's... A, there's Looks like there might be a rounded bulge there. It's certainly not a boxy bulge. But to be honest, if there is one, it's really small. What do you think? No bulge. No bulge. Is there anything odd about it? No. It's a perf it's a perfect discus. Yeah, it's a perfect discus. A part of uh, Would you like to discuss this object? Yes. Whoa! I thought we were. It's taken us to a thing. But no one else has said anything, so we're not going to either. No, you should say, it's a discus. Wait, what? Oh, I think it gave us a new one. It's a discus. Should we post here? All right, we're yes, going to say... post, it's a discus. Do you want to start, say something or mark it with a hashtag? It's a discus. Discus? Is that how you spell discus? It sounds, it looks I like no discus. Idea. It's a disc. Now I just sound stupid. Discus. 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 All right, I'm not going to leave a comment. <laughs> I'm just going to go back to this. What are we doing next? Okay. Is the galaxy smooth and rounded with no sign of a disc? It looks like a star. What do you... Yeah. It's not a galaxy. Star. Yeah. No... Right, there you go. We just say no and it keeps us on this. Right then. Smooth or rounded? Looks like spiral arms to me. What do you think? Features or disc? Yep. Could this be a disc viewed edge on? Uh, this looks mm. more like a forward. Hmm? Mm. This looks more like a forward shot. Yeah. Well, is that an edge? Is that you an edge? You see it from the side. Kind of like a plate. If you hold a plate up to your face. Yeah. So but with that, you know, do I say, could this be a disc viewed edge on? Yes or no? I've got to answer the question. Let me get my coin. Because <laughs> I suppose it could just be some crazy nebula. It away. It rolled away. All right, we're going to say no. Is there any sign of a bar feature through the center of the galaxy? No. There's no bar. I don't think there's a bar. Can you see a bar? I see a bar. It's like the yellow bit. It starts at the edge, goes to the other right. Yeah? What? So there is a bar? Uh-huh. Okay, yes. Is there a sign of a spiral arm? Yes. How tightly would one. the spiral arm appear? Loose. It's loose. Isn't it? Or is it medium? Uh, mm, I say it's medium. Medium. How many spiral arms are there? One, two? Maybe three, because one of them's like blowing up the shot? I see one. You only see one? Yeah. Shall we meet halfway and go with two? Sure. 
How prominent is the central bulge compared with the rest of the galaxy? Hmm. Obvious. Yeah, it is. Is there anything odd? Well, it's sort of bright. So I'm going to say yes. And now they say, what is the odd feature? Irregular, merger, dust lane, lens or arc, ring, other, disturbed, uh, hmm. <clears throat> dust lane? Make no. Irregular? I'm going to go sure. with, yeah. Because it is kind of, it's a bit weird. All right. Going to go with irregular. Whoa, oh, what? And then done. Oh, you can have multiple features. All of them. <laughs> Would you like to discuss it? No. Next. Right, is the galaxy smooth and rounded without, with no sign of a disc? This is smooth. It is smooth, yeah. How rounded is it? It's in between. Oh. Yeah. Is there anything odd? Not really. No. Next. Whoa. What is this? Is the galaxy smooth and rounded? Hmm. Uh, I think this would be smooth and then cigar shape. Yeah. Cigar shape. Is there anything odd? Well... It, yes, is it, has a two bit, eyes. It, it is a bit odd, yes, actually. Um, I'm just going to say other. I don't know. I'd say probably merger. Merger? Maybe. Yeah, it is, really. There's something going on. No. Galaxy Zoo needs your help. Let's do a survey. Maybe later. Classify. Looks smooth to me. What do you think? Hmm. It looks like a wormhole. It does, doesn't it? Should we say smooth, completely round, and then odd? Wait, wait. Ah, no. I went... Oh, uh. hang on. Restart. There we go. Smooth, completely round. Yes. And then we say... Disturbed or ring? Ring. Yeah. Ring. No. Next. Ooh, it's a merger. Look at that. It's round. Yes, it's odd. And we have a merger. And we have disturbed as well or dust lane. Yeah, we've got dust lane as well between them. I don't know if that counts as a dust lane, though. I'm a noob. Eh, hmm? go with merger. No. All right, last one till we move on to the next thing. It's aliens. You can see his headlights. Right. So I'm going to go with smooth. In between. Yes. And other. Because there's a weird blue light on it. No. All right, and then we could just carry on looking up galaxies because they just continuously show them to us, and then this short list will go in to help the classification process. Pretty cool, huh? So um, that's pretty much Galaxy Zoo. So now we're going to move on to the next one, which is Solar Storm Watch. Okay, so let's check out the Solar Storm. So we've got to complete the spot mission to unlock the first challenge. So, spot training. Welcome to spot a solar storm training. Learn what solar storms look like in pictures from the stereo spacecraft. Then practice your spotting skills. You also find out how to pinpoint comets, particle strikes and optical effects, and how to make detailed storm measurements. Spot solar storms in stereo spacecraft picture archive. This is awesome. Like it's real, but it's a game. I know it's on a. I know some of these are website based, but next, <clears throat> okay. 
Select the image that you think features a solar storm. Well, I reckon it's probably that one. Am I right? Yes. Did you know the sun is 4.5 billion years old and it's got enough fuel to burn for another 4.5 billion? Wow. <laughs> that, that's a lie, in my belief. Yeah, I know, but they, they do math and you just got to just, just, you know, people like math. Basically, I just let them believe the math. Um, spot solar storms in the Stereo Spacecraft Picture Archive. What do you think is a solar storm? I think it's probably this one because it looks all crazy. No, that was a I was wrong. Did you know it's it a takes a million years for a photon of light created in the sun's core to reach the surface? Okay, so I got that one wrong. Spot the solar storm. This one. One. This one? Yes. No! Darn it. Did you know the sun has a magnetic field that changes the cycle that drives the 11-year solar cycle? Oh, changes the field. Oh. Okay, spot solar storms. Oh. This one? Yes! I finally got it right. I'm not very good at this. <laughs> Straight away. We're not as good at this as spotting galaxies, Yelby. This one's a little bit harder. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to blame the low quality JPEGs. Right. Did you know that the light we gather from a solar storm is 100 million million times fainter, fainter than the sun? Nope. Didn't know. Okay. Spot the solar storm. Now we know it's not that one. It's not the brown. It's not that one. That one is like, I don't know what that is. We're going to say it's this one. It's a brownie. The sun's atmosphere extends well beyond the known solar system. The Voyager spacecraft launched in the 70s only is only just reaching the boundary with interstellar space. The sun's atmosphere. We're all inside it. Crazy. Okay. Spot solar storms. Uh, that one. No! Did you know the sun is a fluid? So the solar equator rotates 25 days while the poles take 30. No, I thought it was I a plasma. Didn't. No, I did not. Fluid is plasma. No, I didn't know. Um, Or plasma is fluid, rather. <clears throat> or it behaves in the same way. And blah. Um, Spot the solar storm. This one. No! I keep getting it wrong. See, I'm just terrible at spotting solar storms. There we go. I spotted one. Sun's atmosphere, corona, reaches several million degrees Kelvin. We still don't know why. This one isn't as good as the other games. I think that Not I had to... One. I think I had to actually... Yeah, I had, I've got to complete this to be able to do the real stuff. I think that's why it's so simplistic and repetitive. Uh, yeah, see, I didn't do very good. Okay. Comets. Okay, so they capture a lot of other stuff. Let's find out. All right, that's a comet. Yes, I did see that. <laughs> did you see that? Hey, look, it's a comet. I thought it was a UFO. Mm. Or it's Marvin the Martian. It's one of the two. Okay, if you spot it's a dot, destiny. it could be a comet. Or a spaceship, or Vulcans, or time travelers. Sometimes stereo gets showered by dust in space. Why is this not a video when the other one? Oh, it's just an image. These appear as bright, jagged lines. Space dust. Optical effects. You might see a halo ring or a bright arc. It's an optical effect. Right. Okay. And what about this? If you see something plain odd, just tell us about it and we want to see. Show me something odd. No, they haven't got anything odd to show me. Darn, no UFOs. No UFOs. <laughs> Leave the headlights on. I know, right? Let's look at some real-time incoming data. What? What? Wait, hang on. The pressure's on now. Wait, hang on. 
Okay, now we're going to hand over NORAD to you. Wait, what? No, I, I didn't ask for this. Okay. New pictures of the sun. They're very grainy and black and white and might give you a headache. Get four right to move on to the next part of the training. Spot a solar storm. This one! Yay! English astronomer Richard Carrington, 1959, first linked solar storms to the sun, or something. That was cool. Uh, this one? Yes! Did you know a single solar storm could expose an astronaut to over five times their recommended lifetime radiation dose? Damn! Wow. So you're dead then? Unless you're on Destiny. I reckon it's this one. Yeah, I'm right. A typical solar storm reaches the Earth in four days, but some travel so fast they can reach us in a day. Solar storm, yes! When a solar storm reaches Earth, it can disrupt the accuracy of satellite navigation systems. I've done it! Wait, after spotting storms and incoming data, you'll measure them using lines, just like you did in spot. I'll measure them. Okay, how do you measure solar storms? Trace it! To measure a solar storm, you'll use traces. Traces are plots made from thousands of thin slices through stereo stacked up over time. They look like the picture opposite. The lines go up them, indicating a solar storm, and tracing those dots, you chart a, ch a storm speed and direction. What? It what looks are you like talking a about, Willis? There you are. It looks like a bed sheet. Use traces to measure solar storms in detail. Uh huh. Uh huh. Okay. You've finished. Apparently, I can trace it now. All right, spot training is complete. Now it's unlocked spots, and I can watch videos from Stereo's archive and watch any solar storms and mark any solar storms I find. So then, if anybody's interested or enjoyed this particular thing, yeah, give us a comment, and then we'll come back to this and do some more.